Welcome back. It's time for the Financial Week. Poor countries will be able to pause their debt repayments if hit by a natural disaster. World Bank President Ajay Banga made the announcement at a climate financing summit in Paris. I'm very proud to announce a new debt pause option for countries suffering in the aftermath of a natural disaster. The announcement represents a major win for a campaign led by Barbados Prime Minister Mia Motley, who has spent the past year pushing her Bridgetown Initiative, a drive for smaller, poorer countries to be offered better lending terms from the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund, IMF. World Bank President Ajay Banga says the International Development Organization will insert new clauses in any agreements with developing countries, allowing them to suspend debt payments in the case of extreme weather events, starting with some of the poorest and most vulnerable nations. What that does is it gives governments, it gives leaders like Mia a break from repaying their debts so they can focus on recovery. They shouldn't need to worry about paying the bills. They should feel the hand of the World Bank on their back, not in their face. We have much to do. I am determined to help, but I need your help to make it happen. You actually are the bank stakeholders. You are the shareholders. This is actually your bank. The new regime will also see the World Bank giving countries flexibility to redirect a portion of their funds for emergency response. All member countries are to benefit from this rapid response option, allowing them to immediately repurpose a portion of their lending portfolio for emergency needs when a crisis occurs. The bank will also link more investments for prevention and preparedness with financing for catastrophe and crisis response support. It will also provide expertise and analytical support to design a crisis preparedness and response financing strategy. New types of insurance that will backstop development projects, providing tools to more effectively support private sector clients in crisis preparedness and response are also being considered. This will enable businesses to sustain operations and protect jobs. To do this, the World Bank is partnering with the private insurance industry through the Insurance Development Forum. They will design an innovative parametric insurance product to meet the needs. The bank is also planning to enhance catastrophe insurance to provide resources without adding to debt. Across all countries, the measures could free up billions Millions of dollars for crisis response. For the Financial Week, I'm Javon Keyes. Banks and Cambios are selling the US dollar for an average $155.07. $119.32 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar. The average cost for the pound is $195.89, while it's costing $170.44 for the euro. On the stock market, the JC index gained 2,595 points, while the junior market index gained 26 points. Among the 45 advances were Blue Power Group, ISP Finance Services, JMMB Group 7.25% shares, Lasco Manufacturing and Cygnus Credit Investments Jamaican dollar shares. The 42 decliners include Margaritaville Turks US dollar shares, Stationery and Office Supplies, G West Corporation, One and One Educational Services and Iron Rock Insurance. 18 stocks traded firm. And that's the Financial Week.